Hey, uh, how you doing everyone? Force Raider here and welcome back to Detective Grimoire. Where apparently I am a giant floating head. Look at me. I don't know, I guess the... I don't know if this is gonna look right, but when I look in the camera and the viewfinder, it's just like I am gone. It's just gone from here and it's just a floating head. Wait a minute, hold on. It's... Now... Now it's a giant floating dick. So I got the balls and everything. Force Raider, a giant dick confirmed. But now that the jokes are finished, let's resume our detective work in discovering who murdered the owner of Boggy's Bog, the illustrious attraction deep within the swamp. Uh, illustrious? Oh, maybe I'm pushing this just a tad bit too far. I'm actually curious what I'm going to do for the thumbnail. Last time, I, I did something funny. If anybody watches Markiplier and saw his uh, his custom his Ultimate Custom Night stuff, where he was making the, uh, the thumbnail with the Toy Chica body and uh, Foxy head on it, and he just kept making the tits and the ass bigger and bigger and stuck his little... Uh, his little members logo on the on the ass cheek. <laughs> I guess you could say I kind of did something similar with the last thumbnail. And if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. But hey, yeah, if you find the little Easter egg that I'm talking about, aside from the little tribute to Markiplier, although it is kind of tied in with that, uh, if you find the Easter egg, feel free to go ahead and drop in the comments of that video or this video. It, it, it doesn't particularly matter to me which video you drop it in. What matters is if you figure it out. So let's see if you can put your detective skills to work, and I'll put mine to work right here, right now. God, why Why is this game... It's super, super loud. I have to do something about this. I, I tried changing it in the options, but then it swapped back. Chapter 2. A Deadly Disguise. <laughs> I have something for you. Welcome and back. another gift already. Where are you keeping all this stuff? You don't even have pockets in that dress. <laughs> I don't need a pocket to carry a key. What key? Mm, I don't know. You could try it on any door you like. Although, I recommend you try it on that office door. Remington's office? Mm-hmm. Wait. Why did she have Remington's office key? Mmm. I guess I'll go ahead and get this first before I go back to Remington's office. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. Harper. I heard they were sending somebody over. So you're Detective Grimoire. At your service. Well, uh, kind of. And you're a suspect, too. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Feel free to be as suspicious as you like. I won't be offended. You can call me Harper. How did you know my name? I can only assume I must have read about one of your many exploits. But... Many I think exploits? you'll find this swamp to be your greatest challenge. What's so challenging about an old swamp? <laughs> I kind of like the confident one. What's so challenging about an old swamp? The swamp itself has a history that has captured many imaginations. Mm. For better or for worse. Interesting. My advice to you, look to the past. It could be the way forward. Or maybe you could tell me more. Please, tell me more about what was going on. Speaking of which... So, about your job as the cook here at the cafe... So, you sit in this boat all day and sell food to people? To tourists, I guess? Not just the tourists, but the employees, too. To anyone who is hungry. Or thirsty. I know everyone's favorite foods. What are they? Oh, and is this a real shipwreck? How did it get here? I can't expose all the secrets of the swamp. I don't want to spoil your fun. Aww. Is there a secret to this shipwreck? No. You just spoiled my fun. <laughs> You'll find out there are some secrets worth keeping when you've worked here as long as I have. Well, how long is that? I've worked in this swamp almost as long as Mr. Remington. We knew each other for a long time. Really? So hmm. what was his favorite food? Mr. Remington enjoyed a specialty only I can make. The bog dog. He ate one nearly every day. A real creature of habit, that one. It looks like a hot dog. It's similar, but I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. 
I'm not serving them today. Why not? Yesterday I found this strange green powder in my entire supply. Guess I'm out of luck today. Well, thanks for the information. You've been a real big help. Wait, wait. Take this with you. If you get thirsty, it's the most popular drink in Boggy's Bog. Swamp juice. Try it. <laughs> it looks like... I kind of like how that looks. Ah. Uh, well, I'll try some later on. You're in luck. That's my last bottle. A lot of swamp juice has been disappearing from my stock recently. I can only assume I must have been selling them all. Did something strange happen at the cafe yesterday? Uh, uh, aside from the fact that somebody poisoned Remington because they knew he got a hot dog every day, and the fact that the Boggy's Bog monster, the, or whoever was in the costume, had uh, coated themselves in swamp juice. Suddenly, no. <laughs> Suddenly burst into flames. Richard Remington left the cafe feeling ill after Hopper sold him a bog dog. Hopper is basically in charge of all the food and drink here in Boggy's Bog. I'll have to ask him about this. Well, I mean, he did admit that something was wrong about it, and then You're going to night. ask me about what I was doing last night. I was going to? Were you going to tell me anything? I was working here at the cafe in the evening. I had a couple customers. Eventually they all left and I locked up and went home. Do you lock away everything at night? Not everything. Just the storeroom over there. You mean that little door on the side of the ship? Is there anything else to lock? I leave the chairs, tables, and trash can where they are. Lifting things like that is not a job for an old man. Don't you have anyone to help you? Mr. Remington liked to keep us down to his skeleton stuff. There simply aren't many people who would choose to work in a place like this. A skeleton staff? Well, that's convenient for him since... Don't make that joke. I won't laugh. Wait, well, what was the joke? Is it because he's dead? In which case, that's a really bad taste joke. Someone made a costume to look like the creature. They must have known it would get reaction for sure. But I wonder if they plan things to go this far. When you're finished theorizing, I was going to show you these sketches I found in the trash can right next to your cafe. Hmm. It does seem like someone was designing a costume. A disguise, perhaps? I don't know. Try to think why somebody would do such a thing. I don't know. What could they achieve with it? I don't know. Not <laughs> yet. Harper, you might be a better detective than Grimoire is. You're asking all of the right questions. Although, I'm, I'm starting to question if Remington really was murdered, or if he just, you know, somebody was trying to surprise him, and he fell out the freaking window, and the injuries on his chest could be as a result of, like, him fumbling around, uh, and then falling out the window. Uh, that's a possibility, I think. I was challenge. told Remington left the cafe looking ill last night. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect. But I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? Uh, I think it was this. This right here. Ow! That was loud. A so bong dong he ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Poisoned by me? No, I actually I don't, because you've already admitted that you got rid of your bog dog supply because you found little green specks of something all over it. The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. Actually, no, wait, maybe a that, yeah, pick. murder because of that. I've never encountered a problem like this before. But since last night, am I in a position to doubt a claim like that? Somebody knew that Remington would eat a bog dog. He ate one every day, right? Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? An elaborate prank. An elaborate prank. It could have just been a prank, bro. It could have been just a prank. Prank gone wrong. Hey, why is Harper not... Oh, oh there, there's Harper. I don't know very much about them. <laughs> he doesn't know very much about himself. It's here a lot. I think he's been putting less effort into his protests recently. Which is a shame. 
I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk, just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat, nothing of real importance. What about the rest of the people on here? You have a lot of suspects on that list. Oh, you don't have anything to say about Sally? What about Vanderpier? I don't know what to say. What about Burl? I don't know very much about them. I guess Remington would really be like... Echo and Remington would be the most... They are the people that they he would know the most. He was a friend for many years. If you have any questions about him or his belongings, I may be able to help you. That's actually good to know about the belongings. But You're what about prime Boggy? suspect, am I correct? <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, but I'm not even sure he's real. Don't worry about that. Real or not, the creature's the most important part of this mystery. Which one? The cartoon character or the real creature? Exactly. Okay, well, I think I have exhausted everything that I can do here with Harper. But now I know something's up with the, the swamp juice that was used in part of the costume. Yeah, a popular drink sold at the cafe in Boggy's Bog. Has the appearance of strange liquid slime. Harper says a lot of swamp juice has disappeared from his stock recently. Alright, I don't see anything else I could, you know, do here. Oh, I can go up here. That was a very short cutscene. The latch is broken on the store. Seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Oh, okay. Hmm. Eh. Oh, it needs to go the other way. Perfect. Oh, he did say three. Didn't I he? am amazing. Well, we have the local witch, apparently. Uh, you just walked straight into my house, did you? I mean, I fixed your your door. Uh, I'm I'm paying to walk. I like that. I paid to walk in people's houses. Sorry, I would have rung the bell, but you don't have one. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention, but oh, I can really? make exceptions for harmless idiots. Do you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. Hmm. It's a very interesting character design she has. Like, her whole head is, I guess, supposed to look like a leaf. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And oh, I have you? absolutely nothing to do with him, or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... well, anyone. I, I like numbers. Sixty years, something like that. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here, but I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set, but if you bring me an object that has liquid on it or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow. You... How do you do that? Chemistry. Oh. Let's say, are you, are you a chemist? Uh, an herbalist? A biologist? A witch? An alchemist? What have we got going on here with this lady? 
Jeez. Uh, a page from Waybridge's book, uh, Pressed Flowers, contains information about all the flowers in the swamp and where they go. The green and red species only grow around the side door of the museum and can be found anywhere else. It cannot be found anywhere else. Oh. The red ones... Huh. Only by the door of the museum. But they were near Echo's, uh... Echo's camp. Interesting. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. Oh, that sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here. In my house, by myself. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. That's Thanks. it? Just give me a minute to write all this down. <laughs> I found these designs for a boggy costume. Do you know anything about them? You're asking me because you can tell I'm experienced with needlecraft and sew my own clothes? No, Ooh. but that's a good reason. Let's that's... go with that. Yeah. Well, these designs look like they should have stayed where they were. In the trash? On paper. Oh, uh, how come? Whoever drew them didn't really know what they were doing. You would have done it differently? Of course. I am a seamstress. There was a time when I considered sewing my craft. My livelihood. Really? When Richard Remington arrived in the swamp years ago, I offered him some of my handmade fabric as a peace offering. I don't think he cared much for it. Most likely he threw it away. A pointless gift from some strange woman. I don't know, he might have kept it. You never know. But somehow I'm not totally sure what I could present to her at this point. Like, oh. There's samples of flowers that grow in this area. Two of them you don't see very much anymore. And one of them only grows around the museum. Present profile. What was her opinion of Richard Remington? No, I'll always a ask what she thinks about herself. A fascinating old woman who lives in a wonderful treehouse. I heard she wasn't so keen on visitors, though. Okay, now what do you have to I say about Richard? I have nothing good to say about that man. Oh. So I won't say anything at all. Good policy. Show it to someone who doesn't live in a tree. Oh, okay. Now that I think about it. Oh, hey, what do you think about Echo? I'm not even sure who that is. Alright, I am not going to get anything else out of this woman. Ah, uh, oh! Well, well, well. I should not go talk to you yet. Oh, a museum. Hey, wait, how did I get back here? Oh! Okay. Hey, there's a spot from here I haven't been to yet. The strange footprint. Maybe I should. Maybe I can move some of them out of the way. Oh. Uh. A strange pair of green flippers, badly hidden the in the reeds outside the office. I didn't mean to find that. Whoops. Flippers from a homemade Boggy's costume found hidden amongst the reed outside Remington's office. They have three toes each and match the footprints found in the same area. Okay. Neato, but now I have a key. Even though I have the key, this Wait. door has two keyholes. What? So, which key should I use in each one? Uh... What? Oh, second try. Awesome. Oh, there was a gun. And from the looks of things, Remington probably shot at whoever it was. Remington's desk is covered in drawings and maps and notes. It's all about Boggy. Uh, he was obsessed. 
and ink bottles spilled into his work. I'm sure he didn't do that on purpose. Yeesh, it's a bit of a mess. Perhaps there's something underneath those drawings. Mm -hmm. It's a note addressed to Richard Remington. The handwriting is immaculate. Richard, our man of the world, a little help is in order. We're worried that the efforts regarding our elusive little friend might be in vain. Send word when you can. The letter is signed FF. Hmm. And attached is a blurry little picture. It's some kind of metallic insect. The whole thing is a mystery. I have no idea. Mystery for tomorrow. Huh. What? Could this be some kind of rare species of spider or something in the swamp that he was planning on exporting? Something perhaps endangered that it's illegal to do so with? Wait a minute. Huh. Vincent Vanderpeer's business card. There's a couple of numbers scribbled on the back. It's a letter Remington was writing. Before something caused him to spill his ink bottle. My dear fellow, I received your note two weeks ago, but have only recently found the time to do the appropriate research on the matter. I feel like my time in this awful swamp might finally come to a close, all due to the simple realization, hmm, the rest is obscured. What a... What a tease indeed. I didn't mean to skip what you said, it's a but... Letter no, I can't, before I can't. My I received, but have only... I feel all due to... Hmm, the rest is obscured. What a tease. Well, at least I got to hear that. Um, There's a map of the swamp lying on the desk. It's been annotated in a few places. Well, I mean, I don't want to go for the obvious gun. What do we got uh, going on here? Photos and paintings line the wall above the fireplace, but one of the frames is empty. Wait a second. What are these pieces on the floor underneath it? This photo is ripped, but it looks important. If I can piece it together again, maybe it'll reveal a secret. The, uh, the quality for those narrations is a bit inconsistent. Uh, there we go. This photograph, and it's a young Remington. And then some other men I don't know. They're all holding rifles. Maybe I can ask Harper about it. Maybe he was in a hunting club. Or a paramilitary group. First order of... Cryptozoological Hunters. Oh! Okay. 1963. A group photo of a hunting club. A younger Remington stands among friends that are all holding rifles. That's very interesting. So he must have wholeheartedly believed that Boggy was real. Perhaps this was not a cash grab for him after all. An old hunting rifle, discarded carelessly near the window. Actually, maybe it was a, a cash grab. He wanted to cash in on Boggy by capturing him. This isn't the kind of thing I can ignore. An old-fashioned hunting rifle found discarded on the floor in Remington's office. Not going to tell me anything else about that? The open window looks over the wooden planks outside. Oh, and on one side, a part of the curtain has been ripped off. You're not going to say anything more about that? It's a sharp metal poker for a fireplace, hidden in the shadows. Something about those three prongs. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, that they scr or what caused the scratches on Remington. I feel like I just stumbled across an incredibly important piece of evidence. That's because you did, my friend. Fireplace poker hidden in Remington's office. It has three small prongs on the end. There is a small amount of dried blood on the tip of the prongs. Covered in a strange liquid slime, the three prongs match up with Remington's wounds. Could this be the murder weapon? I mean, I don't think that that's what killed him. I'm pretty sure the fall that broke his neck killed him. Have I uncovered a secret in here? Well... The hunting photo is historical evidence that Richard Remington belonged to a secret society. I'm getting a strong feeling that Remington might be the bad guy in this story. 
If he wasn't already dead, I would have loved to ask him a couple of questions. I should ask around, see if I can gather any information about his motives for being here. Oh! Oh, I'm already on chapter three. Maybe I should have talked to the little girl. Uh, well, now. <laughs> Screw it, I'm going to keep going. Chapter 3, Richard Remington's Real Reasons. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. The door is jammed inside. unless I can get these brass handles out of the way. Never mind. Seems like I can rotate them around, just until the gap in the middle is clear. Wait, how does this... Oh, okay, I see how we do this. It's like bumper cars at this point. That top oh! hat guy would have so struggled with this one. Top hat guy? Oh. Who are you? Well, let's look at some Models of, stuff of Boggy's Claws. Hold on. What's this? Something doesn't seem right here. I think I should try arranging these models into pairs. Something seems out of place. I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. Ah. Looks like someone tried to hide them here. Okay, that was a little odd, but I, I got it. Gloves from a homemade Boggy's costume found hidden among the sculptures in the museum does not have any claws covered in a strange liquid slime. Okay. Let's see here. This journal belonged to the explorer who first discovered Boggy in this swamp 60 years ago. Cool, cool. Hmm. I'd better take a look at this. Oh, cutscene. This journal, huh, it's full of drawings and notes all about Boggy. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. Neat. A journal recorded 60 years ago by the explorer who first visited the swamp. The only record of Boggy existing contains notes and sketches on the appearance of the swamp creature. Boggy is shown with three small claws on each arm. Boggy's feet are always hidden in the water. There seems to be a page ripped from the back. Really now? Huh, ah, it actually is kind of a cool picture. What about you, dude, since you know you're blocking the door? Let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. Oh no, I didn't mean to pause that. I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one. Right. That's it. You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? You're Agent Folder. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> too, too many... X-Files jokes here. Uh, I'm writing bad things about you in my notebook. I'm doing a drawing of your beautiful face I'm writing in my diary. It's been a long day. I'm writing bad things about you in my notebook. <laughs> Something fun about that. So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here... I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> well, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The swamp creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I'm with you on the speculation front. Although, come to think of it, people have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. A wise suggestion. 
And you've come to the right person. My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you might have met so far. So, you'll help me? I suppose I could divulge some of my findings with you. If you're in the mood for a little light reading, let me find it for you. Oh, yeah, this'll do. Something for uh, beginners, at least. What? Oh, uh -huh. well, there's a picture of the sketch, and then there's the cartoon character. Information about Boggy collected by Agent Folder. I, I, I can't get over saying that. Boggy Swamp became a protected area after reports of hunting in the area. Boggy's appearance has changed from the original sketches in which he has three claws on each arm. The modern character has simple, fin-like arms instead to make him less threatening to children. Because that, that is what should be added at the bottom of that. No footprints were recorded in the journal, but some experts believe that information is out there somewhere. Hmm. Okay, folder, with your... you, But you don't... Your pocket doesn't act like a folder, it acts like... A filing cabinet. So, Mr. Folder... Agent Folder! Yeah. Agent uh, of what? Were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here, in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key to every lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? Of course I don't. Why would you think that? Well, I... Once again, that clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to breaking the law. If everyone did that, my job would be a lot easier. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Then what are you gonna do? Report me to Remington? Good luck, my friend. I need to pick my questions carefully. Well, now... I... I, <laughs> I mean, for one, he, he is breaking and entering, and you don't need Remington for that. The police can just arrest you if they catch you. The lockpick I found near... Uh, Remington's body... Was... Might belong to Agent The lockpick I found near Remington's body might belong to Agent Folder. As far as I know, Agent Folder is experienced with lockpicks. I wonder if he's hiding something. Oh, wait, did I... Yes, I unlocked the challenge. I have a into... bone to pick with you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Who knows? Stop distracting me. I'm trying to interrogate you. My apologies. Go ahead. So, what are we showing Folder now? Well... Where did I find this again? Where did I find this again? Wait, what? Oh. I found a lockpick at the scene of the crime. Oh, apparently you did. Why does this concern me? You said Remington's always uh, already admitted to owning a lockpick and using it to open locked doors. You already admitted to owning one of these, and how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it, am I right? Be honest. Luckily for me, Detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have already explained that second lockpick before you even found it. Okay, yeah, but I found it near the body. You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. Yeah, it's an important piece of evidence. Wait, doesn't that make Folder, like, uh, even more of a suspect? He looks nervous and shifty. I've noticed that, that they, they like, do stuff with their faces. Like, whether he's looking at them or not. Like, Sally, I noticed in the video when I was editing, that she would smile every time Grimoire looked at her, but when he looked away, she'd look like she was bored or just didn't want to be there. I found these designs for a boggy costume. Oh, some ridiculous new merchandise for tourists to waste their money on. No, I believe the murderer was dressed like this last night when they attacked Remington. If they were trying to scare him out of the swamp, they should have spent more time making an accurate design. What do you mean? 
Well, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. It simply hasn't been researched properly. What's wrong with it? Well, those flippers? Pure guesswork. Nothing but foolish imagination. Nobody knows what Boggy's feet look like. No footprint has ever been recorded. So tell me, Special Agent Folder, how would you do a better job researching it if nothing has ever been recorded? Oh, well, that's, you know, I mean, it's all a matter of taking the time to... It's just that but there's no way anyone would believe... Uh. Nothing but foolishness. <laughs> what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one. But look, all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefit. What does that mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. Did he like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. Why not? It was part of his tourist attraction, wasn't it? Hmm. No. It wasn't. Oh. What? For real? He didn't own this building? There's a little door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked, though. Okay, well, time to go talk to the little crazy girl. <laughs> Aha! The great detective returns. Did you run out of ideas? That's a lot of echo. Need a little push in the right direction? Why? <laughs> Why was that audio so... It was such a wide open space, so much echo. Or rather, it was just a poor quality mic by comparison to what she was using before. Uh, I'm getting a new idea. It involves ignoring you. No need to push me, but the direction would help. You're the one who needs a little push. No need to push me, but the direction would help. Like it or not, I'm here to help you. I get it. You give me a map, then you magically disappear and hide behind a tree for an hour. You want me to be impressed? Did you talk to all the suspects yet? I I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know. Have you noticed anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned, and I'm getting the feeling that I wasn't wrong about this tourist attraction. What do you mean? I had a hard time believing there could be a place like this here in a dark corner of a swamp. It didn't make sense, and it still doesn't. Some things don't make sense straight away. You need to look a little closer. At what? The mud? The water? The trees? Nope. They've been here for years, and they're not to blame. They belong here. She's <laughs> gone again. Hiding in a bush, no doubt. I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it just kind of vanishes right there. Okay, well... I'm kind of running out of time right now, so I'm going to have to leave this video here. But I think I've pretty much gotten with uh, a good look at most or all the suspects. Yeah, I think this is everybody. So I guess in the next video I'll try to go ahead and try to maybe piece everything together. Or at least get it done in one video, because I don't think this game lasts very long. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or if you just have an opinion to voice, why don't you go ahead and leave your comments down below. And I'll get back to making more awesome videos for you guys. Later!